friends. Recently I finished reading All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, and I have five relatively spoiler-free thoughts. Here they are. One, I loved all of the little details from this book. Everything from when it changes from Finch's point of view to Violet's and, you know, Finch is counting up the days that he's been awake and Violet's counting down the days till graduation and that ends up kind of shifting to how, you know, there's kind of three sections in the book and there's like a different picture before each section that almost kind of represents what that section is. I'm all about little details in a book like that and I thought that was just awesome. And just a lot of the details of how she kind of introduced things and then brought them back in a way that was unexpected. I don't want to give too much away, but especially towards the end, I didn't see the very last part of it coming, so I always love when like seeds can be planted, but you don't like totally guess how it's gonna end. I just loved the little things. I loved the little things. Number two, what an important subject to talk about and what a wonderful way to tell this kind of story. Because this is a very real story, um, mental illness is something that affects so many people and it's so stigmatized and something people don't talk about. And I think it really rang true in the fact that as much as people have a stigma against it for other people, people have a stigma against it for themselves. People don't want to you know, acknowledge and face when they have some of these kind of problems. It was beautifully written and accurate. It really captured a lot of the different aspects of mental illness and how it affects the people um, in the lives of people with some kind of mental illness. And how it dealt with suicide, because suicide often is such a differently received death than a lot of other things. There's a lot more anger and I think sometimes people view suicide as being selfish, you know, like putting the people that love them through something like that. It's something that's really hard for people to come to terms with when a loved one commits suicide and I think it really captured that aspect of suicide very well. And right down to, you know, how do you deal with it if it's somebody that you think has some kind of a problem um, but you know they won't really acknowledge it or talk about it and it's it's tricky because I think people's first reaction is to be defensive even when someone's you know coming in with good intentions and you know people not wanting to push it but then wondering if something happens like could they have done more and there's no real right answer I think ev everyone who you know deals with any kind of like depression or um, you know form of depression deals with it differently and has a different experience with it. Like there's not really one universal like these are the exact symptoms of depression that a person's gonna have and you know they're gonna have all the symptoms and it's gonna be you know the same in every single person. It's just not like that. All the Bright Places did such a beautiful job of of addressing the realistic side of something like this. Number three, I ugly cried. Nay, I ugly wept. I finished this book in like two days. It was such an emotional roller coaster and I was not ready. I was not ready. Number four, overall I really enjoyed this book, um, even though it, you know, kind of destroyed me. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I think it's important. You come across a lot of books that are good, um, and then every so often you come across a book that's important. So yeah, I mean, other than it being like a hard book to read emotionally, um, I definitely recommend this book and, you know, think that you should take the time to go out and read it if you haven't already. I'd love to know what your impressions were of the book, what you liked, maybe what you didn't like. And that leads me to five. There's definitely a possibility of um, a book-based song for all the right places. When I'm reading a book for the first time, I'm not necessarily, like, thinking about what kind of song that I write. Um, I kind of, like digest it and then you know see if there's something that kind of stays with me or like a like snippet of a lyric that kind of comes to me that I think I could build a song around but I definitely could see some some real potential in doing something um based on all the right places so it might be a while because it's gonna take me a while to get okay with this book <laughs> but I um I will let you guys know you'll be the first to know so there you have it. Those are my five thoughts about All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. See you next time.